There might still be snow on the hillsides, but down in the valley, most of it has melted and conditions are drying out quickly. With no significant rainfall, the risk of grass and brush fires is rising. There was a suspicious brush fire near downtown Kelowna last weekend and another along West Side Road sparked by fallen trees on a power line. Even permitted burns can get out of hand when it hasn't greened up yet. A couple weeks ago we had a person that had a, had a uh, uh, controlled burn doing everything properly as far as, you know, got a burning permit, it was the correct size, the whole works. However, a wind came up and the wind blew the sparks into a field and the field had a lot of the dead organic material that had folded on over and it hadn't greened up. So um, basically in that uh, situation, the wind took it and actually spread it uh, about an acre and a half to the north. Just a small spark like a lit cigarette thrown out a car window could catch the tinder dry grass on fire. Anywhere in the Okanagan Valley, anywhere in Anywhere you should not be throwing a lit cigarette out the window. Obviously, this time of the year, summertime, uh, you know, the, the risk factors just go up. You know, I think the, the strangest time that I had a wildfire was, you know, the second week of January once. So, like, things can happen at different times depending on our snowpack and, and what the vegetation's doing. It's too early to say what kind of wildfire season we'll have in 2023, but no one wants a repeat of 2021 when hundreds of homes and businesses were destroyed. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.